Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to another Valley Forged. Now, these earrings right here, I made them um, in my my laser. I happen to be using a longer Ray 5 20 watt laser. And uh, it's it's been working wonderfully, uh, but there's a lot of really great lasers on the market. I suggest a 20 watt just for everything that I did here. It just seems to me to be the best way to go. Now, you know, somebody I respect a lot, Louisiana Hobby Guy, really thinks that 10 watts is the uh, sweet spot. But for me, it's 20 watts. And uh, every, like I said, everything you see here, I pretty much made all of it. Uh, and so to me, lasers are just the most amazing thing. And if you, if you have a love for lasers or you want to learn more about lasers, it's hard to believe that there wouldn't be something on my channel that was super useful for you because I cover just about everything when it comes to lasers. And today I'm really telling you, you can make your own boxes, your cards, the earrings, all of those things easily. And I had no idea how to do this. You know, a few weeks ago, I ended up making a video about how to make boxes, but I really didn't know how to do it much. I went on to Etsy and I grabbed this 140 box templates and I went through them and I said, oh, well, here's some that I think that I like. Um, I kind of resized them a little bit and I... I put black lines in the middle and the red on the outside just so that I would have uh, two different cuts. Then I put this little love moi in here because I just thought that worked well with my earrings. And uh, then it was all about settings. Once I got the settings down, it was just like rapidly bam, 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 you know, boxes. I could make 40, 50 boxes, you know, real quickly. And then I just spent time, I was just watching videos or whatever and folding boxes. And uh, I w I'm pretty impressed with how all of this works. Uh, the, the longer Ray 5 cut every single box perfectly. I never, ever uh, had to waste one single box due to any weirdness with the laser or anything like that. So, you know, if you are interested in the, longer. Um, I can't really say, you know, I've made some videos on it. I can't say anything bad about it for a, the lowest cost 20 watt laser just does its thing. And, uh, no, nothing bad to say there. It's actually seven 99 for a 20 watt laser is pretty good deal. And, uh, if you want to upgrade a little bit for that and go with maybe say an Acer or an X tool, I actually think Acer seems to be the next level up from this. Um, and, you know, do your research, of course. But uh, I do strongly suggest a laser. They just do so much and they're so good. But um, things you can do. You know, you can make the laser cut business cards. So I'm getting ready to do this. Uh, you QR code business cards, pretty easy. Put your logo in the middle. Make the boxes, make the cards and uh, send it out. And I, I can't really think of anything else, any other type of machine that can just do so much. I mean, say you have a cricket or a silhouette. Yeah, maybe you could make the boxes and maybe you can make the cards, but you can't make the earrings. I mean, there's certain earrings you probably make, make with it. But I had one of those machines and my cardboard was always getting stuck to the mat and things like that. And I just find that lasers do so many things better than anything else. And uh, I tried a bunch of different papers. Now, some of you may be wondering what kind of paper that I use. Uh, I, I go to Michael's. I get the 110-pound uh, cardstock. It's, uh, you know, $20 for 100 So if you think about that, you're making small earring boxes. You're going to get a 100 of them for... $20, which is cheaper than you can get them on Amazon, and you can make them personalized. But I have like Micros Rewards or whatever. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, I, I often get 40% off coupons. So I'm probably paying, say, I'm often paying like $12 for 100 boxes. Or with the boxes this size, you actually get to end up using two pages. 
So you're getting, you know, 50 boxes for $12. But again, that's more, that's less money than you would spend. Now they do take time. And so time is money, right? And uh, this may not be the best deal for everybody. Some, for a lot of people, it's going to be cheaper to go ahead and uh, buy the boxes. And maybe just for starting out, this is a better way to go. Uh, it was nice for me because I could pick the color of boxes that I wanted for for the whatever I wanted to make. Uh, I could resize and remake these earring cards. And this is something I didn't know how to do a month ago. So another wonderful thing about lasers. And these uh, little Sakura earrings, I'm getting ready to do a um, cherry blossom festival. And so I uh, just started putting these together. And I, I think they turned out really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on my Etsy store here pretty soon as well. And you can see, you know, here I made all the cards, all the boxes, just a matter of folding them up and putting them in. And here is a picture of the 110 pound card stock that I get in case you're looking for that. Now you, they come in a bunch of different colors. Now, if you want something a little heavier, you can go with a watercolor paper. It's uh, like 140 pound, but then you're kind of only stuck with white. Now, there are other options out there, of course, of buying heavy paper, but I'm just, I'm trying to keep the cost down and this seems to work for me. Uh, the watercolor paper was actually a suggestion for one of the other viewers. So that was pretty cool. At this point, I'm thinking like, what business doesn't need a laser? I mean, just the things that I just showed you now, making all of your packaging and making the thank you cards and maybe making uh, you know, just think about whatever kind of business you've got. Do you need signs there? Do you need card holders? Uh, do you need little gifts to give away? If you're a bar, you know, you make your own coasters <laughs> or menus for a restaurant. And man, I just can't imagine having a business and not needing a laser today. There's just so many wonderful ideas. So what do you guys think? Am I on the right track here? I mean, have you have any experiences? Once you got your laser, were you just like, oh my gosh, there's so many more things that I can do. What kind of things are you struggling with? You're like, you know, I wish it could do this. I wish it could do that. As for right now, I'm just crazy happy with what I've got. There's definitely some uh, some more lasers coming out on the horizon that, that look very promising, but um, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. So let me know if you're making boxes, cards, all these kind of things, and uh, what else I can present to people and show them. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all.